Did you know that haplogroup I2, a marker of our shared genetic past, is the most common paternal lineage in former Yugoslavia, Romania, Bulgaria and Sardinia? It's also a major lineage in most Slavic countries. This intriguing fact offers a fascinating glimpse into the interconnected web of human history and the genetic footprints that span across countries and cultures. To understand the distribution of haplogroup I2, imagine a map of Europe. In Bosnia, you would find the highest frequency of this lineage, with over half of the male population carrying this genetic marker. In Sardinia, you would find it in nearly 40% of the males, while in Serbia, it's present in 34%. As you move across Croatia, Montenegro, Romania, Moldova, Macedonia, Slovenia and Bulgaria, the frequency varies between 22 to 33%. Venture further to Belarus, Hungary, Slovakia, Ukraine and Albania and you'd still find it, though at a lesser frequency of 13.5 to 18.5%. Even in Germanic countries, this lineage is found in 5 to 10% of the male population. Interestingly, the haplogroup in 2A1, a significant branch of I2, flourished in the Starchivo Koros Chris culture in Southeast Europe around 6,000 to 4,500 years before the Common Era. Today, this lineage remains a principal male lineage in this region. It also appeared in the printed Cardium pottery culture in the Western Mediterranean during the same period, leaving a substantial genetic imprint on modern Sardinians and Basques. Now reflect on this. Our shared genetic past transcends national borders, cultural differences and language barriers. It paints a picture of a shared human journey, of migration, intermixing and adaptation. It traces back to ancient cultures, such as the megalithic cultures of Western Europe, the Mesolithic period in Sweden, and the Kukuten, Tripilian culture in Northeast Romania, Moldova and Central Ukraine. Consider the haplogroup I, 2A2, earlier known as I1C until 2005, and I2B until 2010. This lineage is associated with the pre celto germanic people of northwestern Europe, dating back to the Epipaleolithic period between 21,000 and 13,000 years ago.